All right, this has been a bit of a nightmare for me, mainly because um, Big Green um, broke down. We had to fix the truck, get a new fuel pump for the uh, fuel injection. You're the star. Get out of there, you crusty oh, bastard. Oh, yeah. The new one comes in. Toit. Oh, yeah. We're toit. in. Toit like a toy guy. We are in. Dude, thanks a lot for your help. We got the old pump out. The new one in. All right, we gotta head back to the office, dude. Let's go. It just smells like gas, so I, I suspect we have a gas leak somewhere. The truck has died twice on the way up here, and I'm almost out of fuel in both fuel tanks. So, this is one of those uh, soon-to-be TFL misadventures, but we'll give this a shot. Hey guys, it's old versus older, right there. Yeah, that's me <laughs> and my truck. But my truck actually is the older of the two. This is an 85 Chevy K10 that's got about a four inch lift. And what do you got there, Kent? I've got a 318 with a four inch transmission lift and a three inch body lift. And we're just gonna take these bad boys off road before we get eaten alive, do a little bit of extreme crossing and see which one's better off road. Here's now, one. I have a question. On the, way, on the way up here, how many times did we open your hood and see what was wrong with it? And how many times did you open my hood and see what was wrong with it? Let's Road's just go off road. It's me. raining, we're getting eaten alive, and uh, yeah, well, let's 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 cross this river and see how these trucks do. Yeah, let's I, go I play get, in the I mud. Get, I, gotta, the mud. I, I gotta put my... Hold on. Hold on, Ken. Oh, oh, oh you done squatting? Oh, okay, my, I do all mine inside the cab. Yeah, well, so you know. So if you've got to squat, you do it. <laughs> this is tried and true, Kent. Tried and true. I know, you've tried it several times. <laughs> All right, let's go. We just asked the guy in the Jeep if it's muddy and he said there is mud. So we might be in luck. We might actually find some mud today before I run out of gas. Water crossings are my favorite thing. When we trail ride our ATVs, we go through a lot of little creek crossings and that's a lot of fun. I don't even have a four-wheel drive. I wonder if I need it four-wheel drive. High. I don't always like four high. Now let me go to four low. Neutral. Okay, now we're in four low. Hi, old silver! Now I gotta tell you, this truck is pretty miserable off road. This lift is horrendous. Basically, it's just a plain old lift where you take spacers and you put them between the axle and the body about four inches so there's nothing sophisticated about it and this thing rides like uh well, it's like riding on a goat it's uh really not a lot of fun if i'm being honest it's uh painful and uh yeah we have to fix the suspension i've got it in a four low got my uh front hubs locked but that still means i have basically open diffs front and rear I do have a, a, lot, a lot of ground clearance and big old tires, so that helps a lot if he's running out paths because Kent has small old tires and big truck nuts. I'd rather have big tires and small nuts. 
as opposed to small tires and big nuts. All right, just some deep ruts, a lot of articulation. but it's not grand off-road you can really tell that we've come a long way since 1985 when this was built with off-road technology it just needs um, proper lift lockable diff I'm going to go with uh, center diff as well winch, better shocks probably the only thing it doesn't need in terms of off-roading is uh, tires. These Mickey Thompsons are actually really good. They're mud terrain, so when we hit the mud, hopefully, we should do okay. It's beautiful up here. Oh, a little creek next to us. Wild flowers. Oh, the aspens. Good place to test tires. I bet my balls are dragging on the back end. Let's see how far Roman can get without having to stop and open his hood. Seems to be a thing with Big Green. Kent, I don't know about your truck, but my truck is pretty god bless it awful off-road. I'm bouncing around <laughs> like I'm trying to ride a goat. I keep hitting my head. My back is about to snap in half. And uh, yeah, it's not good. How about this thing? Well, it's a little different too. <laughs> it's caused my voice to change a few times. <laughs> but yeah, I was surprised we made it through some of these places. That was a great hole back there. How much gas do you have? I got probably a little more than a quarter. Uh, I've got less than a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> so one of us might be towing each other out of here. Yeah. Let's keep going and see if we can get the heck out of here. Here's the thing about off-roading, guys. It's really great to have buddies because uh, it can go from being super easy to super hard like that. There's no like gradual Walt Disney World, uh, this ride is a five and this is a four. And if you're this tall, you can't go on it. When you're off-roading, you just don't know what you're going to get. So, um, so far, we've only been hitting a little bit of uh, mud. You know, it's getting interesting. And this truck, is, even though it's got solid axles, it's really struggling trying to keep both, actually all four wheels, on the road. And of course, now it's hailing. Of course it's hailing. Why wouldn't it be hailing? one of those days. Like I said, when it all goes south, it all goes south really fast. <laughs> yep, hail. Here comes hail. Because <laughs> anything else, I'm just waiting for a bear to jump out onto the onto the trail. Because, uh, yeah, this is, uh, oh my. Oh, jeez. Oh, Water splat me in the face, mosquitoes trying to eat my lunch, and I'm bouncing all over the place. You see that, Tommy? You got a bit of a mud hole. Mud hole, yeah. You got it? Yeah. Tommy's doing a bang up job being our, our videographer. And I'm down to less than a quarter of a tank. Could be an eighth of a tank. But you know, actually, given how uh, thirsty this engine is, it's probably a good idea to fill up before you go off-roading. I just kind of assumed I had two fuel tanks, and I should be okay. But you know, when you're assuming, bad things happen. Ah. Man, it's nice thing about being short wheelbase is I can climb around these tight corners. Oh my goodness, this is a really good trail. 
This is not easy. Got a mud pit coming through again. I'm not worried about the truck as much as I'm worried about the fuel. I hope these mud terrains actually do a good job through this. So far, so good. Alright, maybe it was a little harsh on this truck. Maybe it's not as, as horrible as I thought it would be. Let it turn on some lights. Well, we got more mud. Oh! Jeepers, we went dropping off of that hole. Holy cow! My gosh! That's what you call an impact. Jeepers. I think they don't have airbags. They might do have airbags. They'd be going off. I'll give you a POV so you can see what I'm seeing. This is what the trail looks like. So, what kind of started out as a really bad day, it's, it's turned into a really interesting day. And I gotta say, I was pretty wrong about this truck. It's actually uh, really good. Now, if I don't run out of fuel, I'm gonna be a very happy man. And this low gear really helps you use all this truck's prodigious power. And you can see Tommy out there, I think, right? There he is. You can see him out there. Working really hard during his feet. Yeah, it does bounce around a lot, though. But yeah, that was the uh, hardest part. And we did it. Woohoo! I'll be darned. Blood holes and got hit in rocks and you don't see them till you bounce across them. Got one of some wipers. I even got squirters that work on this old girl. Kent, uh, we've had fuel situation because I'm running out of fuel. We've had rain, we've had mud, and we've had hail. <laughs> and I started out really hating this video because uh, this truck is just miserable. It's just, you know, it's got a very basic lift. But at the end, it did really good. Oh, How about yeah. yours? Oh, great, great. Yeah, we need to transport these here instead of driving them here. But that's a great truck. I love it. Big holes. I mean, there's one I went straight down. It was probably a drop. It was an impact. My hat went flying. I love these. There's, there's a lot of good holes in this puppy. I'm glad we both made it through it because I didn't know these old critters, you know, they've been beat up a lot. We're beating them up some more, but no, I, a lot of mud, the water crossing. What else could you ask for in a trail? It's really a good trail. You know, the hardest working uh, person here, though, is probably behind the camera. I know. I was thanks. worried about slapping him into a tree when he drummed beside me. Yeah, thanks, Tommy, for uh, working so hard. And we have to continue this, right? Because this has uh, just been a fun day kind of screwing around here in the uh, Colorado mountains, but we need to take these up uh, cliffhanger and really give them a test. Oh yeah, you got in some holes. I thought you'd be hanging up on that long wheelbase. You did really good. First thing though, I gotta fix the suspension. It's just, it needs to get repaired. <laughs> All right, thanks as always. This is Roman. And Kim with MrTruck.com. Having a great time in the mountains. Check out his website, check out his YouTube channel, and be sure to go back to TFLTruck.com for more news, views, and of course, mosquito, hail, yes. mud, off-roading, old versus older. Classic beautiful Rockies. Classic truck review. See you guys That's next right. time. Ciao. Alright Tommy, thanks for all your help. Get back. Okay, see ya. They move around a lot on my trailer. Yeah. So I don't use the door to move. Yeah. Will blur you. So how's the Jeep, Andre? The Jeep was on stubble. That yeah. short wheelbase JK. Yeah. It was like an afternoon walk in the park. There's that one hole. I went like straight down here, packing my hat, went flying. I was gonna tip over forward. <laughs> Is your truck as rough as mine? It was, but look at this. Look at this damage to that big black hole. What happened They're to your smashed. big hole? That one hole we went through that hit the hitch and it just crunched them. 
I hope they pop back out. I think that hitch is really detrimental. You guys take the hitch off these balls, huh? To your uh, departure angle, Ken. I don't, yeah, that's true. I am dragging once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Ken's doing his bit to reduce forest fires, but uh, I think the Mother Nature is doing it all for you, Ken. You don't, you don't need, you don't need to help out there. I was helping all those beautiful flowers, the mountain <laughs> spring flowers. All right, boys, let's get to a gas station because I'm just hoping yeah. this thing will make it. Luckily, we still have some gas in the second tank. You ready to go? Yeah, sir. This is kind of a behind the scenes of what it takes to actually do one of these videos. Uh, if we do it right, it looks pretty seamless. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, yeah. Like I just left the lights on for a long time, so hopefully the truck will start because the battery and the windows are fogged up, and the windows are completely fogged up. Oh yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Start up. Luckily, Big Green has air conditioning, so I'm hoping I can use the air to defrost it. Copy, it, Andre. Let's run the defrost, dude. That's what I'm doing. So I'm, uh, I'm down to less than an eighth of a tank. Okay, that's in, fine. In one tank. That's fine. I can have cold here, I can have defrost, but the AC control is right there. So I can't... The fan is high. Yeah. Are we getting cold air? A little bit, not much. It feels warm, actually. I think we're getting warm air, Andre. Well, at least it's some air. <laughs> I think we're at getting warm air. At least it's air. We're getting warm air, it's not defrosting, but I can see a little bit. Most people don't know this, but air conditioning actually de de dehumidifies, right? Yes, it does. So let's see, let's just go to AC and see if that helps. There's a little bit of articulation here. All right, you want to be the videographer? Yeah, okay. let, me, let me run out. Here, there you go. Go for it. We like to air down uh, right before we go off road, but this time around we were really pressed for time. Tommy had to go do the show, so we didn't. But the ride is so rough that I'm afraid I'm really going to hurt my back because I've got a bad back. So even, we're, even though we're only halfway through this, I'm airing this bad boy down. I can't take it anymore. I'm tapping out, Andre. I can't take it. Andre, keep going. Andre, I'm tapping out. I can't take it anymore. It just hurts too much. Let's okay. see what Kent is going to say. Yeah, he's going to call me a wuss. If he only had a Dodge Ram, his back would feel better. Because I'm bouncing too, and I'm short wheelbase. He should have a better ride than that. Well, you have Superman bucket seats. That's true, that's true. I can't fall out of this truck, that's for sure. But <laughs> Are you going to air down? big flotation tires. Air down for what? No, I ain't going to air down. Now, normally you want to air down to give you better grip. But uh, I aired down basically to get a better ride because uh, I had a very nasty car accident when I was younger. I slammed a BMW into a tree. I was passing a Volvo and then uh, I came back into my lane and I started going sideways and I stopped from being a driver to being a passenger and we hit a tree on this side, my, my wife, and my whole body slammed into the door and it really screwed up my back and now Whenever I really jolt my back, I'm in a situation where the next day or a week I can't walk. So I'm hoping this helps. Let's find out. I was almost hitting my head on how bad it was. Let's see how much taking it down to about 20 pounds helps. You think with this long wheelbase, this truck should have a cushy ride, but man, back in the day they made those springs so you could put a lot of payload and tow a lot. They didn't do it exactly for ride comfort. And you know what? <laughs> I should have done this a long time ago. This is so much nicer. Andre. That's okay, we're still rolling. 
luckily it's all well, mostly downhill from here, so um, yeah, a little stressful. Oh, no, but now I feel better. Yeah, but I think at the end of the day, Chevy ruled the roost. Chevy just pounded it. I think Chevy just got it, man. I freaked out for nothing. We made it to the gas station. The light didn't even come on. But uh, you know, when you're going off roading, you're using a lot of fuel, right? You're using a lot of fuel, and uh, I was worried about being stranded up there and blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Excuse, excuse. The main thing is, uh, I've become once again in love with this truck. Once we air down, <laughs> once the mosquitoes. You were away, a little bit angry at it. I was angry, and now I'm happy again. I'm a happy okay, camper. good. And it didn't run out of fuel. Good truck.